What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics and today I'm going to be showing you a cheap and easy way to change the water in your aquarium. So I've got a little 5.5 gallon aquarium that's at the very bottom. It's basically floor level and I use it as a quarantine tank and I absolutely dread changing the water in it. Being the fact that it's only 5.5 gallons and it's a quarantine tank, I'm usually changing the water in it pretty often. Depending on how many fish I have in there or what I'm running, sometimes I'm changing the water every day, whether it be all the water or whether it be a little bit of the water. It just depends on what's going on. What I've been doing in the past is I had a five gallon bucket that I used and then one of those little siphon pump things with the little manual bulb, like you have to sit there and squeeze it and it pumps the uh, water through. And those are great, but it hurts your forearms after a little while. Cause remember the tank's down below. So that siphon effect's never happening. So all of the water that's coming into the bucket, the bucket's higher than what the tank is and you're sitting there manually pumping it. And that just, it hurts your forearms so much. I'm a small guy, I'm five foot nine, 115 pounds. I am not one of these gym, massive forearm type of people. I, uh, you know, I just, it, it hurts. So I've been seeing a lot of other people online do it. Um, I, at first I was like, no, I don't need to go spend the money on it. And I finally was like, you know what? It's $10. Um, and I think it actually came out to be like $20 by the time I got everything. Um, super, super simple, super, super easy. I've used it a couple times now and I should have just done this like off the bat a long time ago. Um, and that's picking up a little pond pump type of deal. Um, this is a tiny one. Like I said, I'm only using it for a 5.5 gallon. So super, super tiny, um, but it pumps 80 gallons per hour. And so that's, you know, enough that it drains my 5.5 tank in like three minutes. Um, but it, uh, it won't like, it's not going to be like a thousand gallons per hour and like drain the thing in 60 seconds type of deal and, and mess with the fish too much. And it has a half inch, uh, little tube thing here, um, with a flow rate. So I can actually turn it down if I wanted to. Um, if I was only taking like 10%, I didn't want to like sit there and plug it in and plug it out and, and like really mess with it. Um, it just makes things so much easier. What I did was I went to Home Depot and I got this little half inch, uh, 20 foot long by half inch inner diameter uh, vinyl tubing for like 10 bucks. Um, it just plops right here into the pump. I can just plug the pump in. It just plugs in via AC power and then it starts draining the tank. For my big tanks, I normally use a Python water changer. I have a 25 foot one because my bathroom's actually just on the other side of this wall. And so it's easy for me to hook up to the sink, drain the rest of the tanks, fill them back up, whatever it may be. But for my quarantine tank, I don't like to use that because then you know, you're cross contaminating, all that good stuff. And uh, so yeah, I got the 20 foot tube because I wanted it to be able to hit my uh, shower drain and just drain it straight into the shower. That's what I normally do, but it'll work for a bucket. You can just, you know, they sell them in like five foot and 10 foot long things. You can pick up the tubing, cut it off. Um, or if you order it on Amazon, if you don't have a hardware store near you, you want a half inch inner diameter. The outer diameter doesn't matter too much. It just depends on how thick the tubing is. Um, I like it to be flexible, not rigid, just because you know, you're, you're moving it. It's a hose, it's not like a pipe. So uh, keep that in mind when you're ordering. Another thing to keep in mind is while they make these in different sizes, um, depending on what you're doing, if you're trying to pump it up six feet and out a window, you might need a stronger pump than this, even if it's you know, only a five or 10 gallon tank because it only pushes up so much. I wanna say this one's only rated to lift like a foot and a half. For me, I only need it to go, to go 12 inches up and then the rest of it's down. It's going straight into the shower drain. Not really that big of a deal. Um, worst comes to worst, I was just gonna return this and order the slightly bigger one, which is like, I think it's 200 gallons per hour is the next size up or 250, um, which is a lot more than 80, but you know, um, these are like $10 on Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link down below along with the tubing or you can go pick it up at Home Depot. It's a little bit cheaper at Home Depot, not much. And like I said, you can get these for all sorts of different sizes, really not much. Uh, this would be great if you're someone that you know can't lift a lot of water or doesn't like to lift buckets or whatever it may be. Um, as far as refilling the tanks, what I did was I just filled up the bucket. Um, I hit it with my little laser thermometer, made sure the temperature was okay. And uh, then I just plopped this in the bucket and plopped the other end into the tank and it was able to push it through the little spirals and into the tank, no problem, it didn't have an issue with that. Then it just fills up my tank. It's not like it's my idea or anything, I'm not trying to say it's my idea, it's just, it's a genius idea, I don't know why people don't do it more often. Um, it saves a little bit more water than the Python. Um, what I do with my Python is I don't actually drain it via um, the little faucet thing. I get it started with that, and then I turn it off, or I, I plug it up when it's at the tank, 
and then I turn it off at the sink and I unscrew it. I put that in my shower drain and then I unplug it here at the sink or at the tank and I just let it drain into the shower. It takes a little bit longer, but I don't use water. It just kind of uses the gravity like a traditional siphon. But yeah, if you're disabled, if you have a hard time lifting things, if you don't want to sit there and like crush your forearms, um, you know, we're not all Tazawa tanks. Uh, we don't hit the gym all that often. And uh, these are great. If this only lasts a couple months for me, you know, no big deal, it's 10 bucks and it's definitely doing what it needs to be doing. So let me know in the comments below, if you guys used a water pump to drain your tanks before or refill them or whatever it may be. Let me know how you drain your tanks. Do you use a Python? Do you use just a traditional bucket and siphon? Um, do you not change your tanks, right? I know some people have like the Wallstad method in that. Um, let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.